Hey guys, welcome to my art space. This is everything in my art space and I'll be going over everything for you. So here we go. Starting with my shelves, the first two shelves are very important. Um, you have artwork pretty much displayed on them. Second shelf has artwork and DVDs, personal DVDs. Um, a lot I don't want to show because of copyright issues. Uh, next shelf down, we have some art books and some finished sketchbooks. Um, I have some art uh, supplies there right in front. Um, I do have my little cuties, Cricut cuties. Right behind them, I have five gray pencil cases and they hold my infusible ink pens, my regular pens, and my gel pens. Next to that, there's two pink uh, pencil cases. Those hold my Cricut Joy pens. Um, they are only a dollar. You can pick them at, I picked mine up at Walmart and I, I love them. They hold them very, very well and I keep them the correct way to hold pens so it keeps the ink nice and flowing. Of course, right in front of those are some artwork and then right next to that is a box full of Cricut Joy stuff like uh, smart v labeling and of course all my Cricut cards. So now working down below we have a right behind here is my <laughs> my mug that holds all my excuse me my stickers and on front there that holds some erasers. And I use these here to fill up like Treflin water brushes. Behind there is some tape. We have three jars, which I got at Michael's. One holds all my, my Sharpies. Next one holds pens and fine liners. And the last one holds like miscellaneous, like different, different things that I might need offhand. Then I have a cutting uh, Cricut tool there. Of course, this is some command hook stuff that I got. A little notepad, I got a kneaded eraser, a palette knife, and of course, some <laughs> Q-tips. Working my way over, you have some rubbing alcohol, some hand sanitizer, a thing my mom made for me <laughs> out of clay. You have my candle and at the end some Cricut vinyl which is black, white, and then some more smart uh, vinyl and labeling. <laughs> Down below that you have two brown boxes that one holds um, some, excuse me, <laughs> coasters, ceramic coasters, and below that is some ceramic uh, magnets, excuse me. And next to that is some uh, smart vinyl in gold and silver. Next is right there is Winnie the Pooh, and it has, it used to be, it's actually a pencil case, but right now I have my, um, a thing that I got in a sketchbook, um, actually, excuse me, as art box, that it's a grinding stone with an ink stick, so you can use it for Inktober. Next is some candy on hand, because you never know. Next is my clean jar for water. Next is my spray bottle full of water, so I can spray my plant. Next to that is some pens, and in front of that I have, that's gel pens, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> so I have some sharpeners, a lighter for my candle, some pencils, some colored pencils with an uh, a eraser, uh, some more sharpeners and a jar to hold all the shavings. And this here is all my washi tapes and I'm actually making my own business cards. And behind there is some masking tape uh, and uh, that's heat, that's transfer tape. Uh, very last row there is some wood uh, blanks and some cards. That is a finished sketchbook that's way down there. A future gift for somebody 
that's leaving me. And then my boyfriend's magic cards. He plays Magic the Gathering. Hasn't in a while. This is my phone. That, this is my holder. So when I video, um, video, do videos and everything like that, this is where I hold my phone. It works nice. This right here is my idea board and I'm working on it right now. Haven't put anything yet, but I will. Um, on my desk right now, I have my candle, my plant, my cup that I made, uh, a project that I'm working on right now. Of course, you guys seen my, of course, my coasters that I made, my water. I always carry extra water. Um, I have a three cart, legged cart here, as you can see. Of course, this is my iPad. You have, um... Uh, uh, paper towels you have my box cutter some Cricut Joy tools that I haven't even opened yet some pencil cases I have behind here I have some watercolor cards watercolor pencils from Paper Castell uh, a shadow box some sketchbooks and paper coloring book and some other art books and of course some boards that is on the first shelf then the next shelf is underneath is where I keep all my color pencils down there's all my black widows some extra bubble wrap bags and my Jazza um, pen to pen is down there and lastly but not least way down there <laughs> you can't really see it if I move down this way is all my let's get to focus there you go is my artboards and canvases underneath is where i keep my laptop and my footstool just in case i need it because i have that syndrome called shortness <laughs> next is my garbage can i have going working my way up this is my cricket board it holds all my tools scissors and rulers Next, you've seen this on an art stream. That is my art sign. This is Evie's Craft and Art Space. This, um, I don't know if you guys seen that video yet, but this is my first ever Pasca pen and uh, artwork that I did. This is a future project that I'm working on right now, a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna be on a stream or anything, maybe tomorrow to finish it up. By the time you see this, you might already seen that. And of course, my this is some artwork, and we have some sticker paper. On the main level here, we have my Cricut Joy, some smart material, which is labeling. My Cricut Mug Press. <laughs> this is where I keep my phone plugged in and my iPad plugged in for. Um, streams, my dirty art, my dirty water uh, place there. Uh, acrylic paint has its own spot, but this is for what I'm working on here. Over here, this holds all my stickers that I have made and my Inktober pencil cases there. Behind here is all my fine liners. Uh, any size that you want. This is my JBL speaker. So when I do uh, streams, this is what you're actually hearing the music from. This is my watercolor palette with my watercolor sketchbook and uh, paint uh, paintbrushes. Excuse me. First drawer here inside, I have pencils, uh, miscellaneous stuff that I might need. I have a bunch of pencils, color pencils erasers, um, <laughs> anything and everything that I might need, excuse me, on a stream, some stencils, some uh, pencil uh, boxes and stuff like that. So yeah, I got a lot and I got, also I got pastel stuff in there. Moving on down to the next drawer down is all my paint drawer. My inks are in here. I have extra nibs for doing other things my color chart uh my palettes uh my jelly gouache extra um palettes 
some inks. Uh, this is acrylic. This is watercolor. This is the fancier acrylics and stuff like that. Again, art boxes. So that's what, and that, this is usually this, this watercolor is usually in that drawer. Moving on down below, this is all markers, uh, from acrylic markers to water-based markers and alcohol markers like a hoo hoo and Pasca pens and <laughs> Copics, you name it, pretty much I got it. And I got other ones down here below, my Elu, and then my color artist uh, markers to colorona or something, however you want to pronounce it. And then down below is all extra paper that I might need, loose and otherwise other. So that I got this off of Am I actually a marketplace? Um, and I got it for like eighty dollars, which was really nice. Moving on to the big one. <laughs> this stores a lot. Down below here are two full things of just paper. Uh, these are sketchbooks, extra paper that I got from art boxes, anything. I got Bristol board, watercolor, you name it. Pretty much I got down here. <laughs> I am working on a future project to replace that one. That is going to go in another spot in my art space. So that's what's on that lower level. Up here is two sets of a lot of markers <laughs> from a hoo hoo. So this is what's in each case. So when I'm ready to do an a hoo hoo one, I have my little cheat sheet back there in that a hoo hoo. If you can see it, a uh, bag back there that is all my ink to, from. Uh, Indian ink to acrylic ink. That is where I keep that. Then these big things right here are all heat presses from Cricut. You got the smallest one to the actual the biggest one back there. Love them. And you never know what size project you might have to deal with. So it's nice. This was a project that I done on a stream that you've seen before. Moving up. This is a future project that I'm trying to figure out what to do with, but it has to be Cricut related because you can only put vinyl on this. So here is my, for cutting vinyl and everything like that. This holds my light pad. This was a project that I already completed. That's a Christmas gift actually. Next down underneath that, we have some cardstock. A whole bunch actually this is what actually what i got for my birthday <laughs> my cricut uh, maker is right here i keep it always unplugged hence why all these are here and i keep it with a dust cover so it protects it and it makes it look nice too this holds my jbl which is my speaker so i'm gonna put that stuff back so moving up to up above you have my printer, which is very old, and I'm actually upgrading. Right next to that is all my acrylic and Mod Podge and triple thick stuff for anything I need to seal. Next to that, there is all my paint brushes that I have. I actually went through that, cleaned it out, very nice. And right behind that is actually detail brushes. And of course, you have a, um, Lint roller, just in case I need it. I have a microphone, a whole bunch of pencils in that case there. Um, I have a three hole punch and a stapler, just in case I need it. <laughs> and of course some uh, copy paper. Up above is my paper towel holder. Above that I have some pads to hold when you're doing, working with the heat presses that keeps your surface cool and protected. Below that has some paper, and below that is some 12 ounce mugs, blanks. Next to that is my inks from my printer. Behind there is a whole bunch of corks that I have to use yet. Um, next to that is some Cricut mug uh, and other projects and that basket so that goes on to the mugs when i press them 
Next to that is three binders to help me with all my Cricut needs and questions. I have a whole bunch of stuff from other companies and uh, other things I have signed up for to help with a Cricut and information that I might have. Next you have, this is all my Cricut Joy mats. Then down below, you've probably seen this mat before. This used to be on my desk actually. So I actually hung it up and behind that is all my mats from the, the green mat, which is the standard grip, to the blue, which is the light grip, to the purple, which is the strong grip. And I have one pink, which is the fabric. You never know what kind of project you might be dealing with. And then down below, this is my larger mat. I have blue and the green. So working my way, here is the new chair I bought for $45. Scooching that in. Uh, this will be on a future stream. I had to move it so you guys don't see it too much. But by the time you've seen this video, you're going to be, you already know what I did. Don't want to show you too much of my house here. Um, <laughs> back there, that is something I made in middle school. So on top here, this is, mm, 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 mm. ouch, I just kicked the bed. Lovely. Okay, so these two things are for Christmas. I'm, I always make something with everybody's name on it, put candy, such and such like that. This was last year's gift, which was a tumbler and for cold, these are for hot. I got extra uh, coasters. My apologies. I couldn't hear what you said. Oh, stop, Siri. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, I have some hand sanitizer and some transfer tape, which shouldn't be in there. Opening up my door here. Um, I just have that there because I was don't know what to do with it. So the first door has all my Cricut stuff. This is all pretty much Cricut. I have extra blades, heat transfer, uh, heat transfer tape, um, some whiteout, um, three hole punch. I got some um, fabric in here. Um, other stuff too, maybe I might be missing. We got paper in that drawer, paper down there. Next drawer down the blue one, that is all vinyl. There's permanent and removable vinyl. And down below at the last one, which is the purple drawer, that has all my more paper and more laser copy paper and also <laughs> my uh, sticker sheets for Cricut. Underneath the bed, I have more storage and I'm not going to show you guys that, but um, <laughs> it has pretty much like a lot of more Cricut stuff like, uh, like the transfer sheets for... <clears throat> excuse me, for the infusible inks and stuff like that that I got uh, and uh, other stuff too, like some blanks, some heat transfer vinyl stuff. So I have everything and anything that you could ever think of. And I don't want to try to get myself in the video because I like to try to keep my privacy. But yeah, with a little space that I have, I think I done very, very well of organizing. Hopefully this gives you inspiration. I bought that thing that holds my my uh, paints from actually Walmart. So yeah, so that's very, very nice. I'm actually getting more acrylic paint in the future here. So yeah, that is everything in my art space. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Hopefully it helps you with if you need the ideas for your space. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified when I, Crafting with EB, post new videos, which I do every Monday and Thursday. And maybe some bonus videos along the way. This is actually going to be a bonus video for the month of July. So thank you very much for watching and please be safe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Stay crafty, everybody. Bye.